and very proud of their russian heritage ah ovechkin actually took some lumps this season because he started a website that i think since has disappeared that was essentially a tribute to vladimir putin hey what's up youtube i'm back with another radio video and today i am going to talk about two craigslist purchase and we're going to start with this one this is a hammerland hq 100 um craigslist seller his name is fred from connecticut and originally he was selling this radio for 100 dollars about a, a little over a month ago and i was like ah, 100 dollars i'm gonna wait if anybody picks it up they pick it up for 100 dollars because i was really didn't wasn't crazy about this this speaker thing here so i waited nobody uh, there was no takers then he dropped the price down to fifty dollars so at that point i went ahead and, and contacted him and i said listen i'm interested in the radio fifty dollars and here it is fifty dollars radio's working well tunes all the bands um, you know, all the way broadcast band, all the way to uh, uh, 30 megahertz shortwave. Uh, all the bands work fine. Everything is working fine, with the exception of it's missing the analog clock. And somebody went ahead and modded this. Well, he got this from an estate sale, and he said he tested out all the tubes. The tubes of all the tubes uh, are working fine. He said he went ahead and tested, but you know, my thing is, you know, my main thing is he powered up and. It, can tune so and it's working very well i have it hooked up to um a small guitar amp let me just show you right there a guitar amp right there it's actually a party speaker one of those with the little uh what do you call those party lights on the top so this one is it's actually is a guitar amp slash pa party light thing and you can hook up bluetooth and all that and it sounds pretty good it sounds pretty good with this uh, with the built-in, with this speaker that he put in, doesn't sound that good at all. It sounds actually it's pretty bad. And he put a a switch here to turn it on. So um, if I would all the radios on to turn on the uh, switch, it will turn on this little speaker. But like I said, it sounds it's not that good at all. And also in the back, he um, uh, the person that whoever modded this uh. He also put a SO239 connector, which is that that's pretty cool because I have that hooked up to this radio. Uh, my MFJ loop is hooked up to this radio with the uh, uh, you know as, as through the SO239. So that that was that's a good mod. So this I don't know if I'm planning to keep this. Maybe later on, try to find an analog clock or something, put it back in there or something. But right now, I, I, like I said, I use another external speaker. And like I said, this one has the... Uh, I'll show you the back of it. Uh, let me just show you the back quickly. And then we'll come back to the front of this. And then I'll just explain. Excuse me, right here. And we'll read a little bit like that. Trying to get in here. There you go. You have your antenna dipole type setup. And you also have that modify SO239. Then you have your speaker jack here, and you have your headphone jack here, and this is your regular uh, the reg 3.2 ohm speaker. Of course, this one is not on right now because as soon as you plug in this one, it cuts this one off and it goes. So I like the uh, this one better. Sounds much better. Sorry. And this is the tube arrangement setup. And overall, the radio is in um, fair condition. You need a little white, you know, a little cleaning up here and there. And I, I did not, um, no scratches and no, excuse me, no scratchiness at all in the knobs. <clears throat> excuse me. They didn't have to do anything with the knobs. They were pretty clean. So I'm very happy with this radio for fifty dollars. You know, I've seen this radio on eBay. Of course, minus shipping, i seen this radio way over $150, as high as $200. 
not including shipping. Shipping on this radio. This radio, I believe, weighs about 29 pounds, 28, 29 pounds, give or take. So the shipping on this, I've I seen it as high as $80, $50 shipping. So definitely $50 is a steal for this radio. Okay. And let me just go over quickly the uh, controls here. And uh, here it is. You got your receive. Excuse me. Okay. You got your receive. Your send. And your Q multi. That is for CW and single sideband. Okay. So this is the mode that it has for it. The antenna, I guess they match the antenna. Main tuning knob, and there's no slippage, it's you know pretty good, works very well. And then over here, let me just zoom in there. Your sensitivity, your manual volume, and your automatic volume control. And you have your bands 540 kilohertz up to 1600 kilohertz as the broad am broadcast band and then you have your four other bands okay and you have your noise limiter your audio gain or volume your band spread and band spread is working well and you have your selectivity is also a bfo um, from the BFO, and of course, you got your frequency and your S meter. So, when you uh, turn on the uh, Q multi, the S meter comes alive. Okay, it's pretty, you know, really pretty straightforward radio. It's pretty, um, built like a tank, you know, this radio is built like a tank. And of course, if you, there was an analog clock here, but for some reason, this person decided to put the speaker, and it's not a very good speaker to begin with. I mean, you can hear it, but it sounds like a cheap radio, same thing. Doesn't do this radio any justice to have that. So I'm going to find something to put that there, either an analog clock or something. I'll think of something. But it's working. It's working good. I'm happy with it. Okay, and let me put this back on the tripod here. So $50, Craigslist. That's from Connecticut. Next radio is Zenith Trash Oceanic. Okay, let me uh, put it right there. And this is, I, I own the H500, and that one is working well this is the i'm gonna say the y600 because the h600 i believe has the um headphone jack here this one does not have the headphone jacks here the headphone jack here excuse me so this has to be the early model maybe the first the first model of this line so i believe this is the y600 correct me if i'm wrong but because i cannot find the model number anywhere in this radio normally it's in the back and, and when you open the door, it's the stamp right there. Or, or this one had no kind of identification, so I, I'm gonna assume that this is the Y600. Again, comments below. Correct me if I'm wrong. And this radio, um, originally uh, I bought this from from a guy named Jose in the from the Bronx. He was selling this radio for fifty dollars, and um, he posted that the radio does turn on. But it makes noise. So I was like, okay. So I called him up. And, and he told me that the radio does turn on and it has a hum. So at $50, I was like, I, <clears throat> excuse me. I took a small gamble <laughs> because I really didn't, I don't want another radio with, you know, that I have to try to fix. I, 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 already, I already have a few projects lined up. So $50, I was going to actually take a pass on it. I said, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna pass for now. So uh, I, I kept for I, you know I figured somebody's gonna snatch it. Forget it. What did I just do? <laughs> so a few days later went by, 
I went back on Craigslist. He dropped this radio down to $25. At that point, I said, you know what, $25? Um, is it still available? He said, yep, okay, I'll be there tomorrow. I'll take it. So $25. Power's up. I get a hum. Also, the dial cord is snap. You know, it's 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 uh, it's it came out. So the I need to restring the dial. So uh, the restring the uh, tuning dial. So the needle's right here. Um, let me just take another tripod again. Now this one compared to my other Zenith Transoceanic, cosmetically, is a lot better. The stag leather is a lot better. The other one was spray painted and all that. The stag leather is a lot. The plastic is, and there's no, basically no scratches. You know, I just had to wipe it down. A little, you know, a, da a little wet, a little, you know, kind of damp cloth here and there just to wipe it down, just to give it a little bit of dust. And but this radio is pretty clean. Even inside, it was not that, not that bad. It was pretty clean. It's just the, um, the humming. So I'm going to look into trying to, Get this one fully functional. I mean, twenty five dollars. Even if I can't get this one, still got I still got a lot of good parts on it. Basically, it's a whole. Basically, I mean, powers up. So, working radio with the exception of the, you know. So, twenty five dollars. I said, you know what? I'll just take it. And here it is, and I'm satisfied with it. And we'll see if I can get this one to, you know, fully functional. It even has the um. The, uh, the book with the uh, all the information. Let me put this thing down. It has like the log book and all that stuff. Pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Put this up over here. I'm trying to do this one. I'm telescoping antenna. Oh, we got this thing. Uh, let me twist this thing. It's supposed to come out. Anyway, I just can't move one hand. But I mean, trust me, it's fine. I just take it out. I just extend. It's, it's intact. Because you got your wave magnet. And then, of course, in the back, when I open it up, you have to connect it. And it has it even has a suction cup. No, actually, it's missing one of the suction cups. But you could take this time, stick it in the window or something. This is for the AM, by the way. Uh, and then, of course, with this model, you have the retractable um, plug. Okay, so you have the retractable plug here, and this one, the only thing is, this uh, is kind of cracked right here, a little bit is broken right here, and of course this one, when you're going to run, also the battery pack is missing on this one, it doesn't have the, the uh, battery compartment thing, but everything is, looks, you know, um, all the buttons are working okay, you know, and um, Dial light, of course, this switch usually kicks back, and it does. Okay, just kicks back like that. And um, all these switches are fine. So, um, 25 hours. Okay. So, there you go. So, um, Hammerlin HQ100. Okay, for $50. And definitely I'm going to be uh, doing some reception videos with this one. And of course, the Zenith Trench Oceanic. Um, Zenith Trench Oceanic. And I say, I'm going to say Y600 because I looked it up and I don't have no way to identify this. It's not stamped anywhere. If any, I'm sure, I'm sure someone knows this radio very well. I know that the one with the headphone jack... Is the uh, I believe the A six hundred A six hundred A has an Alpha six hundred. There were several variations of this model, so I don't know if this one is the Y six hundred. And so, comment below, tell me what this is. Okay, and there you go, uh, two radios. And um, I wanted to make this video earlier. I'm also going to make another video soon on eBay purchases. I purchased quite a few radios on eBay. Um, I believe I'm up to seven radios that I purchased on eBay for the last m almost two months now. But I was under the weather 
for about a couple of weeks. And it's been over a couple of weeks since I got over it. But my voice, it really affected my, my voice. I was uh, like serious case of laryngitis and all that. So I, I could have shot this video about uh, over a week ago. And I couldn't because of my voice. Now, finally, I'm about 80%. <laughs> Sometimes, it, you know, kind of crackles here and there. <laughs> so, so um, anyway, I'll be making the other video soon. And I'm also going to make another video on Goodwill. I finally bought one radio from Goodwill and I bought a bunch of records. But I wanna, um, I'll, I'll make that one on the next video. So this is gonna, this is just Craigslist. Next video is gonna be eBay. I'll be making that one soon, and then I'll do one more video for Goodwill, and hopefully that'll be the end of. And also, I have one more. I have another review that um, a good friend of mine sent me a radio through Amazon. Thank you for that, and I will be reviewing a radio very soon. And I, I don't want to give out the, uh, I don't want to spoil the surprise, but he's a very good YouTube uh, channel, very popular channel. I really enjoy his work. I enjoy his videos. So definitely I will be making a video and soon on that. I'm, I'm still, I just, I'm still testing that radio and surprisingly it's a very good radio. It's very, very great radio for a very low price. So. Okay, so the video is running a little too long already, 16 minutes. Thank you for watching. And thank you for my subscribers. Thank you for your donations. I recently had a couple of donations. Thank you. And also, if you haven't subscri subscribed to my channel, please do. And if you like my video, give it a thumbs up. And thank you very much. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.